All right, folks, showing off a Savage 93 17 HMR. It's a little something one of my Patreon members grabbed, brand new. My buddy Lance Baker picked this up there the other day. We got it bore sighted. Uh, got it shooting halfway decent, but we're going to try out some different ammo here. Lance was nice enough to pick up a good variety of stuff here. So we're just going to do some five shot groups at 50 yards here, see which one of these shoots the best. Maybe run it out to 100, get it sighted in for that, and then maybe try to kill a woodchuck today with it. Stay tuned. All right, we're going to do the bottle cap challenge here, 50 yards with the 17. We'll see what happens. Look at that. Just barely got it. Just skimmed it off there. That's what we want. It must have hit right in between the right in between the cap and yep. the ring because there's no no damage to the cap. Let's see if I can get this uh, focused here. Yeah, that Savage is a hell of a good shooter, man. Got some water to drink now anyway. All right, the old Savage 93, definitely shooting really good out of the box. Uh, one thing I will say, the Bushnell scope, not the best thing in the world, but hey, obviously it gets the job done. Uh, glasses and all that great. It's probably a really old scope anyway. It's something that uh, Lance said he had laying around. As you see, this one doesn't have the Accu trigger, and I don't know, it's some horrendous trigger they put on there. Really creepy, really heavy, but hey, we got the job done today. Here's how all of our ammo shot. Got the 16 grain, got the 16 grain TNT green CCI. Four shots clustered in right there. Might have pulled that one, not sure. 17 grain VMAX here. Again, clustered in really tight. Shot the Remingtons, not too bad there either. Winchester, now I don't know if I pulled that shot or not, but there you have it, really tight cluster four there. 20 grain XTP, now I know I pulled that shot. That one was really bad, but look at that. Tight, nice tight little group. We're gonna try to pick our favorite load out of all these, but I mean, honestly, I don't think you'd go wrong with any of them. So like I said, overall, really good shooting here. Good groups here at 50 yards. Let's see if we can't get a woodchuck or two today with this gun. But if not, I want to thank you guys for watching, subscribing, and sharing. Especially want to thank you patrons. Uh, buddy Lance Baker here helping us out, getting us some uh, new content. Uh, also want to give a shout out to the Australian Hunting Podcast. Just uh, recorded his podcast last night, so... I'll let you guys know when that comes out. You guys can give that a listen. Really nice dude. We'll see you on the next one. Got one.
one barely sticking up right here. I'm good to shoot shoot him whenever. Good? Yep. That was a hit for sure. That was a hit for sure, man. He's right there. I'm good. You want to shoot him? No, you shoot him. Ready? Yep. Nice shot, man. Got two of them now. So what do you think of that gun so far? I like it other than the trigger. Yep. The trigger's that's, a little stiff. That's pretty much what I how I feel about it. Savage shouldn't even offer guns without an accu trigger. I will agree with that. He's deader than a doornail. He's assed around a little bit. That's a pretty gnarly headshot right there. Can't tell exactly where I hit him. Savage did the trick on that one. Let's go. Uh, let's go find your other one there. Taking out a bunch of babies today. They need to be taken out just like everything else does. Yeah, that one right underneath the chin. Yeah, you did. Right where I was aiming. Some... Number two for the old 17. First day out with it. Nice shooting, man. Thanks. Been a while. 